Hello and welcome to this new video. This time I show you how to build my Skag sensor and shrieker farm that I recently developed in the first 1.19 snapshot of the Java edition. As you can see the farm is pretty small and compact and it uses only or mostly um, materials that you can pretty much all obtain in the early game. An exception is the Skag catalyst that you can only find in the deep dark and magma blocks that you can find on the floor of the ocean or in the nether. Now I demonstrate you how the farm works. Turn on mob spawning, I connected an enderman farm to it and they, as they fall down and die, the skull catalyst will send out pulses that generate uh, skull sensors and shriekers. There you see there's the first one, the second one and they all get flashed over into the collection chest. Now this goes on and on and I can show you what I got after those five minutes and I would say I just start this small time lapse now. Okay, so the five minutes are now up. I'm turning off the mob spawning and harvest the last blocks to generate. And after that we will see how much we got after those five minutes. And yeah, as you can see there were some triggers. And let's see. Okay, that's one and a half stacks Skulk sensors and only six catalysts. That's slightly below average. But as you can see, it's pretty mu much a third of what I previously got after 15 minutes. So, okay. Now I show you how to build the farm. And for that, I need to go into the overworld, to my farm area, where I tested how the mechanics work and tried to figure out how to make a farm. You can see I experimented also with a spawner. This works too. You can adjust it so that... You have a zombie spawner or a skeleton spawner. Spiders aren't that optimal, but it works also and uh, it's just slower than the Enderman one. Here you can see the farm itself when it's uh, ready to be plugged into a farm. And here are the minimum required items that you need to build this farm. Pause the video here to see what you need. And I just cropped myself this chest for the items and we build a new one over here and first step we build up four blocks and left the last one after that we placed adjacent to it a skulk catalyst that we need to generate generate the skulk veins and blocks and after that we will continue with making the collecting system for the mob drops you should do this because otherwise it might lag out your server or client and we just make a simple chest collecting system you can of course make something more sophisticated but for this purpose of the demonstration it should work out now you need a rail and also a hopper minecart because this is a full block and otherwise a normal Hopper can't suck it through this full block and you can see it's here in the chest. Now I place two slabs on the side of the magma block and continue with five dirt blocks. Now we need some slabberinos on the side here to prevent that there are veins growing and this last one you will see that we also needed and here we also need some on the bottom and extend this two blocks further out and one more in this direction so we have already the base of our farm now place down some stairs here like so and some slabs on top this is to make sure 
that the items are properly collected and here will be the water streams with inf infinite water sources and to continue with the lower case we just start up with some stairs on the sides they are made so that there is a minimum surface for veins to generate and we will also need some full blocks on the side just as wall and also slabs on top now we place here a slab and here a slab and also here slabs and on the bottom of these slabs you put down trapdoors that you open so that this gap is closed and no item can get through then we place a water source here and some chests next to the dirt row and also our final collecting chest for the loot and a hopper directing into it then followed by this we place a sign here so that there can be a spot for a skull vein to grow and also sign here to prevent the water from flowing out now we need also to make sure that the mobs can't escape from the falling shaft so we place down here slabs and also one here and let's make another ring over here and then we need normally a skull vein here which isn't the case from the beginning on so you can just grab any mob like you can take a chicken and put it down here and it will generate the skull veins as you can see and that's already enough and then you can place down your water into the stairs and one water bucket on top of the dirt or stone this can also be granite or any other natural terrain material and then you got your farm done you only need to place down a stair here and some stairs to get up or a ladder what you prefer and then the farm is pretty much done you just need some demonstration mobs like creepers that we put down in the hole to see if the farm is actually working and they now die and will generate skulk blocks first and then skulk senses and triggers as you can see there's the first one and now everything con got converted to skulk blocks and we got already two skulk uh, sensors and if we continue putting down mobs here with farm there will be more skulk sensors and triggers spawning and making the farm therefore profitable and it will all end up in this chest now i hope this video was a help for you and maybe you built this farm in your single player or the or multiplayer because it's pretty easy to build and nothing too complicated and i would say see you next time in the next video and to that have fun bye bye